Hello, well today we've got the smallest green woodworking project I've ever done and that's making wooden beads. And you might say, oh, what do you want some wooden beads for? Well, apart from obvious things like gifts and necklaces, you can use them actually for all sorts of things like toggle ties, uh, to name a few keyring fobs. So quite a nice project, easy to do. All you need is some piffy wood. Now in the UK, a good one is elder. If you're into your home brew wine, then elderberries, get the little branches off one of those and you'll be well away. And tool wise, it's really simple. It's just a sharp carving knife. So I'll show you how to do it and give you an overview. If you want more depth, uh, Z Outdoors with Martin Hazel. So Z's another YouTuber, very good channel on bushcraft. They've popped quite a long film up on it, which is worth a look at as well. Anyway, here goes. All you do, take the bark off. You could do this with a draw knife if you wanted to. But this would do it perfectly well. And one could obviously make 10 or 20 beads at the same time. I'm going to take the bark off. And then what you want to do is just start rounding off the end. So just go around and cut a bit off to give yourself the first round of your bead. And you can obviously put as many or as few facets on the bead as you like, but I'm just keeping it very simple at the moment. The next slot is if you then just hold your knife and turn the wood around, you'll get like a marking score line so that gives you a cut line to work to and then I did say this was simple <laughs> do a row of cuts going round bear in mind that these knives are very sharp and therefore potentially quite dangerous so do take care and where feasible cut away from yourself and watch that sharp pointy tip. Some people grind the tips off. So once you've done that, you can then cut the other way. Just go around and cut that. And obviously you can make oblong beads. You can make beads with various defined facets. Um, you can put patterns into beads, you can burn patterns on them, you can dye the beads. So you can really can, you can mount them on string, you can mount them on leather. You can use them as zipper pulls. There's no end to your imagination. Right, this is beginning to crack. So I think I will just give that a Oop, we're off. So there's my little bead. I will just trim up what I've been cutting. The pith is still in there, so to get the pith out, all you need to use is the little sticks. The pith comes out quite easily, so you're ready to string your bead. So I'm just pushing it all through at the moment with the stick. You can push it from either end, it really doesn't matter. And it really is as easy as that. You can obviously, with a bit of effort, get nice shapes of beads. So I've done a few others. I'll show them to you. This is the bead I've just made. And as you can see, it's quite sort of dark and damp in colour at the moment, but it will dry out. And these other ones are all beads that I made yesterday. And they've dried already a bit and they'll keep drying. It won't take long because they're small and they shrink quite a lot as they dry. The other thing I tried doing was using, I've used a non-pith wood as well, so I've got some spindle here and it's a very hard wood, it's a little bit like boxwood, so I had to drill a hole on this, but what's quite good fun, I did one more here in spindle, it, you can put multi-facets on because it would take the sort of facets very easily being a hard wood, but it gives quite a nice effect as well. And of course you can dye the beads. I'll show you dyeing. You could use things like coffee to dye them brown or cochineal 
um, or other sort of natural products. As I am in my leather workshop, I'm going to try applying some leather dye. So I'm just painting a bit of the dye with a cotton bud. See which colours work best. There we are. Give you a sort of idea of what kind of thing you can do. So there you are, can make some dangly earrings next. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you enjoyed watching that one on making beads and perhaps you can think of some good ideas that you can make beads for. So anyway, good fun and actually a nice little activity to do with friends if it's a rainy day. It's something you can do indoors, doesn't take long and you actually produce something quite quickly and that's exactly what I did yesterday with the bodgers. About 20 of us making various beads and also spoons and bits and pieces. So very enjoyable social day doing that. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Bye bye.